The tragic murder of 28-year-old Abby Choi bears unsettling similarities to the notorious case of the Street Petersburg teacher Sokolov, who gruesomely dismembered his young lover and discarded her remains in the Moika River. However, while Street Petersburg's crime evokes a sense of philosophical contemplation, the Hong Kong tragedy is rooted in a mundane financial conflict. Abby Choi, a well-known model blogger, was initially reported missing on February 22. The alarm was raised when she failed to pick up her daughter from school, a routine task she faithfully carried out. Her final moments were captured as she entered a vehicle driven by a hired driver who happened to be her ex-husband's brother-in-law. The perplexing accounts provided by the family of her ex-spouse, Alex Kwong Kong Chi, raised suspicions and intensified the ongoing investigation. Just two days later, the shocking discovery of the model's dismembered body parts stunned the authorities. The remains were found in a refrigerator inside a rural residence located on the outskirts of Hong Kong's Tai Po District. In a macabre arrangement, a skull, ribs, and strands of hair were meticulously placed in a large stainless steel pan. Furthermore, investigators unearthed a meat grinder and an electric saw within the room, alongside the victim's clothing. These chilling findings led the investigation to conclude that these items served as instruments of the murder. The murder of Abby Choi, while lacking the philosophical weight of the Street Petersburg case, unravels a web of financial conflicts that likely contributed to this heinous act. The intricate details surrounding her disappearance and the shocking discovery of her dismembered body have sent shockwaves through Hong Kong leaving the community in mourning and demanding justice for the young model blogger. Following the discovery of Abby Choi's remains, a forensic examination swiftly confirmed their identity on February 26. One investigator revealed that a deliberate act of premeditated murder was evident as a small hole was found at the back of her skull. The authorities promptly issued a B on the lookout, B O L E V O, alert for Choi's ex-husband but he had already vanished. However, their pursuit led them to an isolated island where the suspect was apprehended the following day. Despite his attempt to escape by boat, he was captured. During a search of his person, authorities discovered a sum of half a million Hong Kong dollars, equivalent to 9.5 million rubles, and a valuable watch worth approximately $4 million. News reports shed light on Choi's background and accomplishments. Initially making her mark as an influencer, she swiftly transitioned into the mainstream media. Renowned as a fashion icon, she possessed a unique talent for combining elements to set trends, amassing a substantial following of over 100,000 on Instagram. Choi regularly graced Paris Fashion Week and featured prominently in esteemed publications such as Elle, Harper's Bazaar, and Vogue. Less than a fortnight prior to her tragic demise, she even graced the cover of the prestigious fashion and luxury lifestyle magazine, L'Official Monaco. Hailing from a privileged family deeply involved in the construction industry, with significant business connections in China, Choi's personal net worth exceeded 100 million Hong Kong dollars. Notably, she was also known for her philanthropic endeavors as a co-founder of Pounds, a charitable organization dedicated to assisting homeless animals. Abby Choi's life represented a fusion of glamour, success, and compassion, making her untimely demise all the more tragic and shocking. Following the shocking revelation of Choi's murder, the police wasted no time in taking action. On February 25, 2023, three suspects were apprehended. Among them was Anthony Kwong Kongkit, Choi's former brother-in-law and the driver she had hired. The other two individuals arrested were the parents of the first suspect, both of whom were Choi's former brothers-in-law from her previous marriage to Alex Kwong Kong Chi. Choi had tied the knot with Alex at the tender age of 18, and over the course of their three-year union, they welcomed two children before ultimately parting ways through a divorce. Subsequently, Choi entered into a marriage with her current husband, Chris Tam, 
whose father happens to be the founder of the Tam Jai Yunnan Mixian restaurant chain. With Tam, she had two more children, and despite the dissolution of her marriage with Alex, Choi maintained a cordial relationship with him and his family. In the wake of the investigation, the police launched an extensive citywide manhunt, accompanied by a reward of approximately 2 million Hong Kong dollars. Eventually, Alex Kwong himself was apprehended after his ill-fated attempt to flee Hong Kong by boat. Reports suggest that Choi's murder was allegedly orchestrated by her former father-in-law, Kwong Kao, a former police officer who had previously faced accusations of rape. The motive behind the crime reportedly revolved around a financial dispute and a luxury apartment that Choi had purchased and subsequently registered under her former father-in-law's name. Situated in the esteemed Kadori Hill neighborhood of Kowloon Tong, the apartment represented one of the most prestigious addresses in Hong Kong, known for being home to the city's affluent residents. The intricate web of familial ties, financial conflicts, and a highly sought-after property underscores the complexity and underlying motivations behind Choi's tragic demise. As the investigation continues, the authorities are working diligently to unravel the full truth and deliver justice for Abby Choi's untimely death in the midst of Hong Kong's most affluent circles. In a grisly turn of events on February 26, 2023, the police made a harrowing discovery. Choi's decapitated head and a number of ribs were found immersed in a pot of cooked soup. Concurrently, Law enforcement authorities apprehended a fifth individual believed to be linked to the murder. The newly arrested suspect, In Shi Wing, a 47-year-old woman and mistress of Kwong Ka, Choi's former father-in-law, is suspected of aiding in the concealment of Alex Kwong before his alleged attempt to flee Hong Kong. The search for the remaining missing body parts, including the arms and torso, is currently ongoing with a dedicated team of over a hundred police officers diligently coming through relevant areas. In their quest for information vital to solving the case, the police have been conducting interviews with local villagers. On February 27, 2023, the police took significant legal action by filing murder charges against Alex Kwong, his brother, and his father. Additionally, Alex Kwong's mother faced charges of obstruction of justice. All four suspects were presented in court, where they were denied bail and remanded in custody pending the investigation's outcome. Their court cases have been adjourned until May 8, 2023. As for Ng Chi Wing, she was charged with aiding and abetting a murder suspect. However, she has since been released on bail, awaiting further developments in the case. The progression of the investigation marked by disturbing discoveries and a growing number of arrests, underscores the gravity of the crime committed against Abby Choi. With the legal proceedings underway, law enforcement agencies continue their tireless efforts to uncover the truth and ensure that justice is served. In an astonishing revelation, it came to light that Alex Kwong was implicated in seven alleged burglaries dating back almost a decade before Choi's murder. Furthermore, it was discovered that Kwong had previously absconded, evading a court appearance in 2015. Consequently, he now faces charges in connection with those past cases as well. This multifaceted legal situation unfolded, adding further complexity to the ongoing investigation. On March 2, 2023, a sixth suspect, a 41-year-old man named Shen Lam, was arrested under suspicion of aiding and abetting Kwong's escape from Hong Kong by boat. Lam was an employee of a yacht rental company. Following his charge on March 6, he was subsequently released on bail, pending further developments. A seventh suspect, Irin Poon Haoying, a 29-year-old resident of Hong Kong and a friend of Alex Kwong, was apprehended in Shenzhen, China, on March 7 for her alleged involvement in aiding Kwong's attempted escape from Hong Kong. Poon was handed over to the Hong Kong authorities. On March 8, she was formally charged and later granted bail in the amount of 50,000 Hong Kong dollars. However, 
she has been prohibited from leaving Hong Kong pending the progression of the investigation. In accordance with Hong Kong law, a conviction for murder carries an obligatory sentence of life imprisonment. Historically, the death penalty was the sole legal punishment for murder in Hong Kong until its complete abolition in 1993. Since then, judges have had the discretion to impose life imprisonment as the permissible punishment for this grave offense. As the case continues to unfold, the intricate legal landscape surrounding Alex Kwong and the involvement of additional suspects accentuate the severity of the crimes and the comprehensive efforts being made to ensure justice is served within the bounds of Hong Kong's legal system. As the case progressed, Choi's mother obtained an injunction prohibiting Kwong Ka from selling property related to her daughter's murder and from seeking confirmation that her daughter was the beneficial owner of the apartment registered to him. So, here is the full list of suspects in Abby Choi's murder. 1. Alex Kwong Kong Chai, 28, Choi's ex-husband, charged with murder. 2. Anthony Kwong Kong Kit, 31, Alex Kwong's brother and Choi's former brother-in-law, charged with murder. 3. Kwong Kao, 65, father of Alex Kwong and Anthony Kwong, and former brother-in-law of Choi, charged with murder. 4. Jenny Lee Sui Hoon, 63, mother of Alex Kwong and Anthony Kwong, former mother-in-law of Choi, charged with obstruction of justice. 5. Inj Chai Wing, 47, mistress of Kwong Kao, aiding and abetting a murder suspect. 6. Henry Lam Shun, 41, friend of Alex Kwong, aiding and abetting a murder suspect. 7. Irene Poon Hao Ying, 29 years old, aiding and abetting a murder suspect. The murder of Choi sent shockwaves throughout the entire population of Hong Kong, capturing global attention with its high-profile nature. The case also brought to light several notable murder cases from the past, evoking memories of Lam Kor Wan, a serial killer whose original death sentence was commuted to life imprisonment. The infamous 1985 Bramar Hill murders, where two victims lost their lives and five young men were convicted, resulting in indefinite imprisonments and life sentences, and the well-known 1999 Hello Kitty murder case, which saw three individuals sentenced to terms ranging from 18 years to life. The tragic news deeply affected Hong Kong actor Aaron Kwok and his wife Mocha Fang, who were close friends with Choi. They expressed their condolences, describing her as a dear friend. Choi's current husband, with whom she shared two children, fondly remembered her as a caring wife and mother who always prioritized her family. He assured that he would take care of their children, including the two they had adopted. Choi's current father-in-law also considered her as his own daughter and had shown great care towards her. Choi's mother, in her tribute, shared cherished memories and expressed her love for her eldest daughter. Thousands of fans and internet users from around the world extended their condolences to the victim's family. However, some internet users in China expressed disappointment that the death penalty, still applicable in China for severe crimes, was not imposed for Choi's murder, believing that the criminals deserved such punishment. Meanwhile, the school attended by Choi's children pledged to provide counseling and support to them and other students affected by the heinous nature of the crime. The profound impact of Choi's murder reverberated beyond Hong Kong, drawing attention to the importance of community support, remembrance, and the need for justice in such devastating circumstances. The residents of Lung Mai Village in Tai Po, the location where the majority of Abby Choi's dismembered body parts were discovered, came together to plan and carry out Taoist rituals in order to appease the spirit of the deceased. This gesture aimed to provide solace and reverence in the face of the horrifying and tragic nature of Choi's death. Meanwhile, Choi's family and friends gathered at the site to pay their heartfelt respects, mourning the loss of their loved one. In an effort to reassure the public, 
the police held a press conference where they emphasized their unwavering commitment to ensuring that justice was fully served for the victim and her family. They expressed confidence in their investigation, stating that the utilization of GPS data and surveillance camera footage would greatly assist them in solving the case. The police's determination to uncover the truth and bring the perpetrators to justice remained steadfast, offering a glimmer of hope to a grieving community and a concerned public.